Hello, okay, today I'm going to show you how to do some nice looking ease in and ease outs in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you're just messing with one of the transform properties, so zoom or position, then it's really easy to do in the edit page. Now you would do that by going to where you want to start your keyframe, clicking for a keyframe to open, move forward a few frames and then adjust the end position like that. So here, we have our zoom in and then on your footage you want to click these little curves, highlight both of your keyframes and press this and it adds a little curve to it to ease in and ease out. There you go. Now if you're wanting to mess with more than one of the transform properties then it does not work in the edit page. I'll show you what I mean. Okay so here I have some footage where I've zoomed in and changed the position looks fine before I add the ease in and ease out. If I highlight these keyframes and add this, like what is that? Why does DaVinci Resolve think that that is what I want to do? So to do it properly you're going to want to head on over to the Fusion tab and don't worry we're going to make this super simple. So where it says Media In you want to make sure that that's highlighted and then create a transform node. Okay so now we're going to go to where we want our animation to start for me that's here, press a keyframe on center which is position and a keyframe on size which is zoom. Then go forward a few frames, sort out the end point. Okay now you've got your position keyframes, you're going to want to open up the spline editor which is here, make sure that it's selected, the transform one, and just zoom out so you can see both of these pink lines. Okay, so this is your zoom and your position as keyframes. Now let's do the bottom one first. We'll click on that and you'll get a little square here. Now drag that down and there you go. You've got the bottom of your curve, so you ease out. Do the same for the one above and just drag it down. Make sure you do it in the same position, otherwise you'll end up with the weird thing that DaVinci Resolve does automatically. Then do it on the end one as well, where you just lift it up like an S curve. And this one. And there you go, that should be a lot nicer. And it's smooth and doesn't look stupid. Okay, let's check it out in the full screen. There you go. And that's how you do it in Fusion, so it doesn't look as bad as DaVinci Resolve does it for you automatically. 